Let's start off by thanking every single one of you for coming all the way to France for us and what we wanted to do. Life is never boring with Sophie, as demonstrated by many hair colours. And I'm always worried, but before a visit, I would not recognise her. But I knew would today, because she was the one with the bridal gown. Happiness in marriage is not something that just happens. A good marriage must be created. In the art of marriage, the little things are the big things. It's not only marrying the right partner, it's being the right partner. So I'm absolutely certain Soph is meant to be my wife, to the point where I got day two, I went home and told my mum I was going to marry this woman. And that's, that's true. Do you, Daniel, no, offer yourself wholly and joyfully, and do you choose Sophie as the person with whom you will share your life in laughter and in tears, in conflict and in tranquility, loving what you know of her and trusting what you do not yet know? I do. I won't spell it out, but he ran a very exclusive club out of his bedroom. Oh. <laughs> I weren't no going to say way. that. <laughs> but yes, it was called Wank Club. <laughs> Anyone who knows Dan knows he has a tendency to exaggerate. The only time he doesn't exaggerate is when he speaks of his love for Sophie. So Sophie, I promise to always love you, even when you do me editing. <laughs> I promise to always do my best for you as well, even if it's tough. I promise to put my clothes away the moment you wash them. Sophie didn't say I could embar not embarrass Daniel. <laughs> Apart from Carol, Daniel's mum, who knew Daniel was a dancer. On a recent move, Sophie and I found his Billy Elliot shoes. Sophie and Daniel have a great partnership. They have goals both joint for their personal work and life in work as well. So just know they will have a great future together. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Mr. and Mrs. Jenkins.